we're here uh, hey. um, with the Mike Me, which we've seen, we covered on Sonic Talk uh, a right. little while back, and now you've got, uh, is this production models? Yeah, we're launching this summer, so we're shipping to um, customers this summer. Um, this is Mike Me. So it's actually a wireless microphone and an audio recorder. So what it has, it has a big phantom powered capsule in it, so one inch true condenser phantom powered capsule, which has been never seen before in such a product. And at the same time, it has an audio recorder. So you just push the button on top, it gets red, and it starts recording. Uh, you push the button again, and uh, the file is saved on the internal 16 gigabyte SD card. So it's got an SD card, you just put Right, right. And on top of that, you also can monitor it with, uh, with your headphones, uh, set up the volume for monitoring, or transfer audio via Bluetooth and charge it or use it as a USB microphone. And on top of that, you can pair it over Bluetooth. So we have a companion app, which lets you stream audio more or less in real time to your phone. Meaning we're using Bluetooth as a transportation layer, and on top of our own pattern pending technology, which makes sure that every single piece of the 44.1 kilohertz is delivered. So if something is missed, like in the noise environment like here. You don't get dropouts, you get them. Right, right, we, we, we're recovering the dropout. So basically what you do is like, you just, Push a button, uh, make the recording, then instead of giving it a name, we just make a photo, um, just to remember the recording, and that becomes your cover art. That's a great idea. And you also can mix up to eight tracks, so you have some simple effects. Uh, so you, so this is a gallery basically, so it's geotagged, you see that's in Gleisdorf, my hometown, or in Vienna. You can zoom in and out, and the photos become your cover art, so you can visually navigate. And if you have a song and record one track and another one, so now you get two tracks. So one guitar track and another yeah, so one. Can, so it synchronizes the incoming right, audio right, with the... right. And that goes up to eight tracks. And then can you mix? So that's your basically your mixer, making it louder left, right. And if you click on the t effects, you have something called Instagram inspired audio effects. Right, which is so something like an XY pad with reverb, a little bit of distortion, stuff like that. So the idea is to get online fast, make content production as easy as possible. So what sort of latency are we talking from capsule to, to recording device? Inside the microphone or to the phone? To the phone. Roughly 100 milliseconds. Oh, okay. So it's quite a lot. So it's not intended to be a live production, so for a PA system. It's more for recording. And in a recording environment, that does not really matter. But we make take care that all the tracks are synced, which is quite complex. So what about a, a pair of them? Can you use them in pairs? So technically, theoretically, the hardware and the software can do it. But we need to make a firmware upgrade later this year, or maybe beginning next year, where we can talk to multiple microphones. So everything is set up that that device could do it, but the software is not ready yet. So it could, what, it record could. up to, uh, I, I can't remember, there's a limit, isn't there, on how many Bluetooth devices you can connect yeah, to? Yeah, theoretically 10, but I think for, for making it close to real time, two or three maybe. Maybe Apple is releasing, you know, fast device, I don't know. But so two or three. Mid and side, eh? Yeah, we're going to see if I have stereo enough. Yeah, that was interesting. For a simple band recording. Okay, so and what kind of frequency response does the capsule give? Is it, is it... So we have two capsules actually we're using. Uh, the one with the gold plated capsule will be available for, for, for $4.99. It's uh, 18 hertz to 20 kilohertz. And the cheaper version is $3.49. With an electric capsule for two thirds, uh, it's uh, 50 hertz to 90 kilohertz. But still, that's, that's very good for speaking and basic recording. So do you think that most people are going to be using this for kind of simple acoustic recording or interviews? I mean, what's the idea? What's yeah, the so the idea is that our tagline is capture creativity, to get to recording as fast as possible, so with one push of the button. So acoustic recording, it was designed for musicians, but we figured out that video recording, podcasting, uh, content production as a whole, Broadcast companies are even looking for it. Uh, video producers, a whole bunch of. So, of uh, uh, what's the what's the pattern on the uh, capsule? Uh, not on the capsule. It's about how the data is synchronized and how the data is securely transmitted over uh, wireless transportation layer. So, over no, I mean, what, what, is, what is the uh, the, the, the pattern? pattern. Uh, the pattern yeah. is color it. Color okay. It. And um, how does the how does it handle gain? Because obviously, you just press the button and that's that. So. Right. The gain works as this. So. You turn it on, and if you push and hold, it's uh, getting... Oh no, that was slow. So now it's getting pink. 
So now it's testing the it's testing the, the signal. So if I talk and do it, it measures the, the, the level. And if I'm ready, pressing again, and then it would set up the gate. Ah, so it's okay. kind of, we call it sound check to make it more easy to set the gate. So that's fixed then, it doesn't, it doesn't work in dynamic gain mode. It's not an auto gain, but we're thinking about uh, some other features, how we could do it more smarter than just auto gain. Because auto gain is going up and down and we don't like that because it, it improves the noise. Uh, it gains the noise and you have all those not nice effects. So is that, presumably there must be a little bit of DSP in the unit to yeah, do stuff? quite a lot. So it's, it's, there are two 180 megahertz chips in it with DSP power. So there's quite a lot of signal processing going in. Signal processing regarding uh, compressing the file. So we're using AAC codecs to make an MPEG-4 files. And that needs a lot of processing power. And we could do is DSP filters too, oh, okay. if you want to. And so um, you think that it's going to be going going live in the summer, right? Right. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot.